Lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I want to wish you guys the very, very best. I hope that these uh, holidays, this season, you guys were able to spend it with loved ones and family member, those who, uh, family members and those that matter most to you. I wish you guys the very, very best. Fortuna, abundance, growth, the prosperity for this 2018. So let's get into this reading. This is going to be for Pisces, my beautiful Pisces out there. For Sun, Moon, and Rising, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of January 2018. Let's see how you guys will be kicking off this new year. So weird to say 2018, isn't it? Is it just me or does this happen to you guys? Like every single year, the first the first month is always like... I say 2018th and then I'm like, wait, <laughs> am I in 2018th or is it still 2017th? Blessed be, we're, you know, starting a new cycle. Yes, it is 2018th. <laughs> All right. Spirits, what are the messages for Pisces, Pisces, Pisces for the month of January 2017th? Okay. Let's see. Let's get into your reading, Pisces. All right. First card, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Sorry, not the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, the Sun card, the Knight of Cups, the Death card, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. General energies, you have the knight of pentacles all right pisces the knight of pentacles is uh energy that is a little bit very slow in the making i feel that um if you guys currently had uh, some type of uh something that you're wanting to make happen for some of you guys it could be um that you're wanting that increase um at work in your finances um for others of you guys, it could be uh, not being able to communicate the way you wish you could. Um, I feel that there, that there may be a blockage. And the reason I say that, well, I'll get into the other cards, but uh, the Knight of Pentacles is definitely, again, like I said, a very slow paced type of energy. For some of you Pisceans out there, you may be dealing with an Earth sign. Earth sign would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And I feel that this is a person that is very wise. This is a person that for some of you guys, they could be younger than you. Um, for others of you, I mean, it is a general reading, but the knight usually represents a person between the ages of, uh, I want to say 25 all the way to uh, 29, going into their 30s. Um, and this is a very wise type of energy. This is a person that's very practical. Uh, this is a person that if you go to to get advice or to get some type of clarity, they're always going to give you the honest truth. Whether you understand that, whether you accept that or not, they're not going to give you a beautiful lie just to make you feel better. And I feel that for a lot of you Pisces out there, you guys may be dealing with this energy. Um, this could be a relative. This could be a person that a friend, someone that, again, like I said, you go to. I definitely do feel this person, uh, this energy is a person. So again, uh, for some of you guys, perhaps you go, you're going to find yourself in January going to a person to get some type of advice or some type of understanding. And there is going to be this miscommunication, like you're not really, they're not telling you what you want to hear. Okay. Um, but know and understand the best you possibly can for the month of January. Sometimes people are not always going to agree with you, Pisces, and that's okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, sometimes we have to go within ourselves and try to figure out what it is that um, triggers for us to get upset or for us to feel almost disrespected in a way because they're not agreeing with you. Um, I don't. I feel that this person's energy is genuine and they have true intentions for you. Um, but again, I do feel miscommunication may happen in January. Um, so try the best you can to, again, you don't have to, you know, you guys can agree to disagree, know and understand that 
the advice or the wisdom that this person is offering you is to the best of your interest and your interest alone. Okay, so anyways, let's get into your reading. You have the two of pentacles here. There's a need of balance uh, for a lot of you Pisces. Now, the two of pentacles can also represent um, not having not having your priorities straight. Okay, so for some of you guys, if you, what you're wanting is to bring in this new year, uh, a new relationship, something long term, you have to get your priorities straight. You have to be grounded. You have to know exactly what it is that you want or the reason why you think you want what you want so if you're wanting a relationship why is it that you're wanting the relationship what does a relationship do to you what does it bring to you what does it make you feel does it make you feel complete does it make you feel um supported does it make you feel whatever the situation may be and once you get a clear perception or a clear understanding of why it is that you want that, you have to go within yourself and ask yourself, am I able to provide that? An example, if you're wanting a relationship because you feel you'll, you only feel complete in a relationship, um, then there's a need for you to do a lot of self-reflection because if that's the feeling that you're going into any type of relationship, you're always going to be f like put in a situation where you take it for granted, where you feel that you have to put up with certain things or certain attributes of a person because you don't want to be alone. So, quote unquote, what it what's happening is you need to learn how to be okay on your own. And the moment you're able to be okay with that and enjoy it, in, enjoy that process then you're able to attract the person that is happy with themselves that is happy being alone but that can also be a great partnership to you okay so I hope that makes sense and it, it may not resonate with everyone but it is a very specific message now moving along with the two of pentacles next to the queen of wands you may be dealing with the fire sign fire sign would be a Leo Sagittarius or Nares I feel that there's a message a message sorry there is um a choice that has to be made and this is a choice that you've been either not wanting to make or you fear the outcome of this of of what may happen for some of you guys this can actually represent your partner if your partner is a fire sign then there is a lack of there is a lack of give and take in this relationship and it's getting to the point where you have to either cut this person out in order to start something new or remove yourself um remove yourself from being suppressed almost making you almost like making you feel that you're asking too much in a relationship because you're not really asking too much um they're just not willing to invest or give you what you're wanting okay now the knight of swords here definitely represents again like i said having to speak up for yourself sometimes being a little bit too harsh but I'd rather be harsh with someone and be honest than, again, like I said, make it pretty and lie to them because you're deceiving a person. So again, like I said, I think there's a need for you to speak up in regards to a relationship for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship. What is it that um, you're expecting your partner to, to do? And if they're making you feel like you're asking too much you have to step back and ask yourself, are you willing to do the same things you're expecting them to do? And if the answer is, I'm already doing that, then it's your partner, the one that you need to either be able to release or be able to speak to them honestly and say, if you're not giving me commitment, we've been together for three, four, five years, then you let me know now and I walk away. But there is an ending here. There is a need for an ending. Sorry. Um, you do have the ace of the ace of cups here. Actually, you have two aces. So I feel that once you're able to end whatever it is that has been keeping you stuck, whether it's past behaviors in relationships or whether it's a partnership that is not really giving you what you're wanting, uh, but you're kind of stink, you know, staying along just to see if from 
you know, a miracle. They actually change. Again, like I said, there is an ending happening here because I do have the death card and the death card is right under the sun. So it's you with the Knight of Swords cutting a relationship or ending a relationship and then the ending of that relationship to be able to move forward. And I do see the Ace of Cups here with the Knight of Cups. I see a water sign coming into your life or an earth sign. Earth sign would be a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Uh, water sign would be Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. This is not your energy, Pisces. This is definitely the energy of the person coming towards you once there is a release or an ending to what no longer serves you. You do have the Ace of Pentacles, so there's a promise of not just a uh, loving relationship, but there's also a promise for something long-term and commitment as well. You do have the Nine of Pentacles here, and the Nine of Pentacles is being um, abundant, but also learning to be alone if that is something that... Uh, if you are uh, the type of person that goes from one relationship to the other, then the Knight of Cups, or sorry, the Knight of Pentacles is here to tell you you need to ground yourself. You need to come to the understanding that there is a necessity for you to spend some alone time and actually enjoy being alone, enjoy being um, self-sufficient and not depending on anyone. Remember, you guys, codependency is not a positive thing. Um, Especially, like I said, if you're the type of Pisces that jumps from one relationship to another, there is a need for you to understand that that has not been helping you. It hasn't helped you in the past and it's not going to help you in the future. Okay, there's an ending here. So this could be an ending to past behaviors. This could be an ending to a relationship that your partner is just not giving you what you want and they're not going to. Um, but once you're able to end that or move or detach yourself from this stagnant type of re uh, uh, stagnant um, energy, then you're able to embrace new beginnings. And I feel that love will enter your life or it starts coming towards you the moment you feel comfortable with being alone. OK, so I hope that makes sense. Now, for those of you guys that, again, like I said, have been struggling in reference to finances, um, you have the seven of pentacles and it's almost thinking or putting thought into what you're wanting to do in regards to your finances, whether it's if you're trying to make a choice between two jobs um, or if you're trying to uh, make or put effort to actually show your boss or the company or the corporation that you work for that you're worth whatever it is that you're asking for or wanting to ask for. Um, there is definitely an, a hidden blessing coming your way that you're not expecting where it's going to put you not just in uh, financial stability, but also, again, like I said, being abundant and getting to a point of actually being able to share um, or wanting to share um, or provide for your loved ones and people around you. Again, I do want to mention um, for others of you, there is definitely an ending to a relationship or an ending to a pattern of behavior. Um, so I hope with whatever this is, if you're in a relationship and that relationship just not has served you at all and they keep stringing you along, it's necessary for you to end that. It is necessary for you to find some common some common peace more than anything um, and and to really put your efforts and really put your energy towards rebuilding yourself or healing yourself um, or being confident in yourself as well because I feel that a lot of you guys have been bruised uh, so again if it's not working for you and it hasn't been working for you for the past 10 years you need to switch it up okay um, it is absolutely insane to continuously keep doing the same behavior and expect a different outcome. Uh, obviously, it hasn't happened in the past. It will not happen in the future. So you need to self-reflect, a lot of self-reflecting and being able to move forward. The moment you're able to do that, then new opportunities come your way. And again, like I said, I feel that the majority of you guys, uh, when you start feeling comfortable with being alone or when you start really enjoying your solitude, um, or enjoy the fact that you're able to self-provide for yourself, that's when love comes knocking at your door, okay? So many blessings to all of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And again, intention is everything. Uh, let's kick start off the 2018th with positive energy, good juju. Uh, visualize and put effort towards your intention of what you're wanting to bring into your life, okay? Blessings, and we will see each other at the middle of the month. Bye.